As a content creator, I love to use GIFs in my video. And you guys love it too. It's cute, it moves, so your TikTok can do his brain don't click off the video. Good for retention. And I can communicate my emotions faster, better, and more effectively. For example, if I said the word, I love you from the bottom of my heart. A GIF will prompt it either make it sweet or cray. Now, obviously, I don't love you guys. But if you subscribe and send me money, I might be dead. Now let's go back to the GIF at hand, okay? Here's a presentation that I made for my university class demonstrating my problem. The issue is convenient and speed. For example, if I said something simple like, this is amazing, this is shocking, this made me mad, easy. A GIF for convey my emotion. Now, let's, let's go ahead and take it up a notch. I'm not a big fan of the government. I love big breast women. Tax evasion is my favorite hobby. Now, you might struggle a little bit to find GIF for it, but eventually you got it, well, you know, but that takes time and slow you down. You know, if only there's a way to say something and boom, GIF, that represents my idea. So you know exactly where am I going with this, right? Welcome to another episode of how lazy his team can be and totally getting away with it. Yeah, I code some of AI to help me suggest GIF that helps me make YouTube videos. So introducing. Okay, 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 listen. You know how I'm like in university and stuff and I gotta do my assignment, homework basically? So this semester, I gotta build something called an academic project. Basically, just make something that can help the human race. That's why I'm making this video, okay? I know it's not my typical content. I have to make YouTube video while making my life easier as an editor while completing my assignment. So this video is literally killing three birds with a single stone. I have to make this video. Holy multitasking. Okay, whatever. Let me introduce you script to gif an AI powered software that turns your weirdness to weirdness, but at least you can see him. Just so you know that the software is very, very much in an early development. I code it in less than three days, so mistake and imperfections are bound to happen. So here's a script for my latest video about me complaining about 6-7. At the bottom, you will see two things, software and human. So I've divided which job that a human has to edit. This is something that I have to edit myself. And then AI has to edit. Now let's see how good it is at assisting me human six seven six seven what the f is six seven everywhere i go my timeline is just drowning in a stupid number like it's the new bible verse don't hate me for this but at this point six seven isn't a meme it's a cult initiation if you say six seven three times in the mirror then it would bring baby oil behind you <laughs> honestly i don't even know what six seven means but give it a week they probably sell it as an energy drink so apparently six seven came from, from a drill rap song called doot doot by skrilla and then the song was somehow associated to a basketball player named Lamelo Ball. He plays like a six foot one inches player despite being a six seven inches tall. And then the beat dropped to the Skrilla song at the same time the number was referenced in the song. It was supposed to be a dumb inside joke for basketball enjoyer. But little did everyone know, one of those basketball enjoyer really, really enjoyed those inside jokes, all right? Stop! I can't hear it! Stop saying 67. It's not funny. If you spam the same jokes over and over again, eventually it loses the original meaning. But maybe, maybe that's the point. Because here's the thing. Nobody is saying 67 actually cares about the song, or La Melo, or the number, or the edit, or the kids. What they care about is belonging. Saying 67 is like a membership card. It's the internet cheapest form of identity. Now, th those kids scream 67 not because it's funny, it's because it's a signal that they're in on it. They're in on it on a joke. Wait, so you know 67 too? It's the same reason why people spam Skibidi, Riz, Haktua. Unironically, actually, it's literally Haktua at this point. It's less about the meaning and more about the group success, like I belong somewhere. After all, whether or not that you understand or don't understand that you hate or love 6-7, the fact that you know 6-7 means that you are us and not them. After all, it's in the human nature to feel like they belong somewhere and to feel special, to feel in control over the chaos, the uncertainty that they experience as a society. To be fair, the concept is not new. We got 21 of the MLG and then 69 of Ohio 
deal. Now it's just six, seven of mustard and mango. I don't know. I don't know what kids are doing these days. The fact that I don't understand it means that I'm just getting older. It's simple as that. The younger generations are slowly taking over the me culture. Well, 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 that is pretty interesting. So the first thing that I've noticed is definitely this uh, empty spot in the video. Like there's literally nothing here. It's like totally empty software. You know, there's supposed to be a GIF here, but somehow the software, it, the AI don't know what to recommend. Ultimately, I as a human have to fix this uh, mistakes myself. But you know, like the whole point of the video is to be being lazy, right? M convenient. Like if I <laughs> if I gotta edit this whole thing myself, then what's the point of using an, an external software? Those of you who are wondering how the software works, it literally works like this. For example, the script six seven six seven. What the heck is six seven? The GIF prompted you know it appears and as you can see this is the exact same GIF that I've used. Yes, this is the GIF that was recommended to me. Now ultimately you yourself as a human you have to decide which gift that you need to add in a video now i know i love to use the word ai 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 a lot in my video but <laughs> now that i think about it there's barely any ai at all i feel like the ai here is more like an advanced google in my opinion if you are wondering how exactly the software works well let's just use a simple analogy for example let's say i love big boobs pretty complex but ultimately what does this statement mean now this statement means that either you are a freak because you are a pervert or you are a lover because you love something. So the way that I think about it, or oh, which means the emotion that this statement is conveying is a freak and a love. So I gotta, and that's basically it. I just, uh, I just find a gift that is freaky. For example, he's a, he's a, a, a man that is like super freaky. Like, eh, I'm gonna do something bad. Eh, you know, like, eh, I'm super freaky. I'm, um, like, <laughs> I'm not in control. I'm gonna do something perverted. And of course, here's another one: love, as in to associate the emotions of love. Well, then he's thin. I still don't get it. How exactly that the software know to associate emotions with photo? Well, it doesn't. You want to know who did the job? Me, as a human. I, as a human, had to deliberately rename the file Anime Girl Freaky. That's it. There we go. So I literally had to rename the entire thing Anime Girl Freaky. This is going to be uh, Anime Monster Man Freaky. And this is going to be Anime Woman Love. So literally, what I have here is an entire backlog of files of me just uh, adjective and nouns all together. SpongeBob, overworking. Chores, housework. Stupid, Patrick. Monkey, thinking. Dog, planning. That's basically it. I don't have to like, like there's nothing to train here. It's literally just me saying, hey, chat GPT. I mean, I'm using chat GPT, of course, for now. So let's go back to the most practical example of them all. Six, seven, six, seven. What the fuck is six, seven? Now, what is this emotion? This emotion conveys that I am number one, mad, and number two is I'm confused, which is why it associated with react slash shock and mad slash upset slash shock. That's what it is. That's basically it. it the ChatGPT will look at this and think, ah, he is shock and mad. Shock, shock. Shop, upset, shock, and mad. That's it. That's literally it. It's so, so simple. So what I have here is something that you can do yourself. For example, I have an entire GIF list right here. Basically, an entire GIF list all of every single name, every single GIF that I have in my backlog. And what I got to do is I simply uploaded my entire GIFs of backlog into ChatGPT. There we go. A GIF list. Don't as anything yet it already know what is inside of this file because literally the file is just me saying um guy freaking out and people super shocked and what i gotta do is just i gotta say something along the line of i'm not a big fan of the government what gift inside of those file is a pro uh p8 for it oh there we go now uh, oh i got a cartoon swastika offensive meme i apologize by the way um discord racism offensive from mewing sigma so yeah we're just, go we're just gonna go ahead and see the does uh, chat gpt did its, uh, did its job there we go this is my entire backlog of gif on my way to spread misinformation on the internet boom 
so this is another one this is the gif that it prompted another one i'm not a big fan of the government yeah that is pretty uh, yeah that is pretty accurate that i'm not a big fan of the government look at that it's so so accurate i'm not a big fan of the government that is pretty funny <laughs> i ain't gotta lie. hey before i end the video you guys can join my discord server and go to discussion and go to a gif only section because i i need gifs by the way i need like serious number amount of gifs that I can download and put into the project. Uh, you know, I, so that's the reason why I'm making this video because I need you guys' help, okay? Another thing that I need help is um, if you know how to fine tune an AI or if you know anything related to programming, please send me some suggestions because generally uh, the only thing that is running this entire project is a keyboard and a chat GPT and a dream basically. If I don't have ChatGPT, the entire project is basically dead. Or whatever it is, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next stream, short and video. Bye-bye.